Yes, yes. On the left-hand side, we have World Systems 2 mixed, which sounds like this. On the right-hand side, we have World Systems 3, which sounds like this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in New Realms, Episode 15, Chapter, Flow, Test, Cycles, Wellness, Entangled. In this episode, we re-entered by reflecting that a presentation is in six and a half weeks on Composing in the Hybrid Metaverse. And we are preparing a presentation on Composing Live on Twitch, which is Composing in the Hybrid Metaverse, while... Right now, composing live in Twitch. It's like looking at yourself in a mirror with a mirror behind you, reflection reflected. We also reflected that creative tension pulls at our equilibrium to express new ideas in physical media. But when you have multiple ideas going on, it creates multiple pulls on you and they become creatively entangled. Case in point, we've been working on world systems theory and uh, performing arts in the metaverse and then composing in the hybrid metaverse. And one of the things that came up from the world systems theory is we've read a great quote. And the quote inspired us to make a blog post. So the quote was, with the computerization required by all current technological innovations, technical progress, progress stopped protecting intellectual workers indefinitely from the impacts of de-skilling and unemployment that until now were essentially limited to manual workers, quoted by E. Babiar. So, side comment, it seems to us that things that are written in French when translated into English become three times longer. But what we figured out that meant was in the old days, if you knew how to dig ditches with a shovel, you got replaced by a steam shovel. But if you worked in an office, your job was safe. But these days, with things like OpenAI and ChatGPT, uh, or in other words, computerization, even an intellectual worker's job is no longer protected, and you got to keep learning skills. Otherwise, you're going to get de-skilled and unemployed. So we were reminded of the John Henry poem, John Henry, and we were inspired to rewrite it as Joan Henry in the Metaverse. So Joan Henry said to her captain, blah, 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 blah. So she competed with the AI for keyboarding, and she beat the AI, but at the end, she keyboarded her poor heart to death, Lord, Lord. Reference, go read John Henry or listen to John Bonamassa do the John Henry Ballad. But the fun thing was we decided to use DAL E2 OpenAI, which is OpenAI, and gave it a prompt and it came up with this picture. And the funny thing is we didn't use show woman. We, we had something like uh, give us a socialist painting uh, with a, uh, a laborer competing with a machine. I think it might have been uh, with AI. And they gave us this. So we kind of liked it. And we got the, and that gave us the idea to turn it into Joan Henry. So we had this this uh, prompt from a book. Uh, we had this idea and went and edited this poem, which was by Anonymous. And then we decided to write a prompt based on this and send it to Dali. It gave us this, which... I mean, we didn't. It wasn't going to be Joan Henry. It's going to be John Henry in the metaverse. But it became Joan Henry after, after OpenAI gave us that. Maybe you had to be there, but we were tickled by that. All right. Um, the other thing we did with uh, with that was was as you as you saw, we're we're working on a composing series called Composing in the uh, or in the World Systems Theory. But the other thing is, since we are working on multiple projects, composing in the hybrid metaverse, we had to get cracking on our slides. And this is where we are so far. This is our uh, what we submitted. And what kind of got us going was this was accepted a couple weeks ago. And now we have to present this in, in six weeks. Well, 
So we have completed pretty much our title slide over here and uh, a, a rough outline. This is a whether or not our actual slides follow this outline remains to be seen, but but we'll see. So uh, we said we're going to have definitions. So we got some definitions here. What is online? What is composed? What is the metaverse? And then the most fun part was what is the definition of composing? And this took a lot of iterating and it's an image and it's a conceptual image and and uh, we like it a lot but the idea is that words are into poems and sight is into painting and and so forth and so on and in this series we focus on the first three yellow uh, rectangles the poem uh, we don't do paintings but we do uh, digital visualizations of, of our digital songs but we've been doing metaphors about meals and fabrics already music as taste and music as as cloth and we haven't yet done music as smell but we could and that's one of the things about the current metaverse is it's it can can compete with uh, physical presence in the top three areas but it can't compete with physical presence in the bottom three areas. So that's something we might uh, end up putting. Well, we'll probably comment on that in our script. So to bring us home, we're going to play a little, the full parts of each of these songs. Um, This is World Systems Theory 1, and what we did is we generated 3-2 um, chords, 5-5 five, five chords, and 4-3 chords, and then we just let them play on top of each other. And this is, uh, and then we did different sequencings, as we do. Um, but here we're going to do... This one. This is a very traditional pattern called down three, up one, but this is uh, in chromatic. And this is the traditional pattern uh, using white notes only. And you may even recognize that from Paco Bell's Canon. Da da dee 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 but we let it go on and on and we start on different areas like here but the trick is uh, we had a hard time knowing what what to do with that or where to go with that so if we're going to do world systems theory so one of the things that the world systems theory says is there's only been two world systems so far in the recorded history of humans and the first one is uh, the Ro is world empires like the roman empire and the chinese empire and the second one is the world economy which we live in today so we thought well maybe today we can write a theme so this is like a, a budding um, world empire theme which is i think the batman theme in trumpets and then for a world economy And then it turns out that they sound kind of neat together, we think. And then, in, in because reasons, we ended up making a third theme. And we don't know what to call that, so we called it a continuo, or the narrator, or maybe the author of the book that's looking on to these world systems. Because whenever you have a model of how the world works, we always need to remember that there's some thing looking at the model and judging it. And if there's two models, you know, so that's the narrator or the artist or whatever. So this is so short and sweet. I kind of like it. It certainly um, has a ring to it. So our ideas for next time are 
to continue the scores like world systems, um, continue the presentation like more images and beginner script and, and some other stuff. So shout outs to Silent Lurker as always and Entangled Creator who has really joined us this time around with the multiple projects in play. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.